Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. Today I'll show you how to embed extension objects in ClickView. Extension objects provide additional power to ClickView. And ClickView extension objects will only work with Ajax client and WebView mode in ClickView desktop. They don't work with IE plugin. So make sure that you remember you have to use the Ajax client if you're deploying it on the server. Or if you're sharing your QVW file, then you have to enable the web view mode. And extension objects needs to be copied to specific folder based on the products. So the folder location might be different for your desktop edition and it might be different on the server itself. And even the location of the folder might vary based on the operating system you use. There is lots of information on community uh, regarding where you have to place your, where you have to copy the extension objects. So I'll quickly walk you through with a simple uh, Google Map extension object today, and then uh, let's let's walk through with the step by step process and let's see how we can use that. So I'll be using an example which is created by Alexander Carlson. It's a click tech employee so all credit to him for working and creating an extension object on google maps so i've already downloaded the file that is qar file so let's see what the qar file is all about so i'll open the location where i've saved the file so i've already saved the file so this is my qar file which is so Let's see what are the contents of the QAR file. So you need to, if you wanted to see what's what's in QAR file, you just have to rename it. So sometimes uh, you just have to name it to zip. So you can type QAR.zip. Oops, that did not change the format because uh, you rename back again. It's because there's a setting in Windows. So if you go to tools and folder options and you have an option where it says hide extensions for known file types if you uncheck that and click on apply okay now you see qar so you can go ahead and change that to zip and it will ask are you sure yes if you double click and open it so you see the map folder and it has some context an XML file, which, def which is a definition.xml and how to document and an icon. And then you have a properties QVPP and then a JavaScript file. So all you need to do is you just need to copy this folder to a location. So let's see uh, the actual location where we wanted to copy it. So I'll go to C and then go to users then click on TV and click on app data local. Then let's look for click tech and then look for click view then look for extensions and objects. Sometimes you might, might not see this objects folder. If this is your first extension object, you might not see the objects folder. So just go ahead and create the objects folder and then place the objects folder under the objects folder, uh, let's go ahead and paste this map folder. So just drag and drop and close this. And just to remind you, you might have to go through this process with version 10. However, most of the time with version 11, if you just double click on the QAR file, it will automatically copies this folder to this location. So I'll demonstrate that. So I'll delete this folder. And then let me just go back to the actual file location. Let me minimize this. And let's maximize. So we have the zip file. I'll change this back to QAR. Yes. And if you see, there is no map folder. However, if you double click on this, it says in total six files in one directories were installed. So that's already taken care. Okay, so once you have this folder, let's go back and see, yes, we have everything here. So now, if you change this to WebView, so you can change it 
by clicking on view and then click on turn on or off web view then you do that or you can also use a small button here so so this is in right now in web view mode so this is how ajax client actually renders and let's right click and then click on new sheet object then you will see all the click view objects here and we also see this extension objects so now we see the Google Maps here. So all you need to do is just drag and drop and you can adjust and resize. So now uh, let's add some data. So let me press Control E and then let me load some information here. Let's try it and then let me go to click view and let me access it. So my support files and let me just load the csv file which contains some uk post codes and latitude and longitude so let me click click on finish and let me reload the document so it's taking a couple of minutes so we have reloaded some data and uh, let's change some properties click on right click and then click on properties and then now uh, you can scroll and then select latitude here and select longitude here. Then click on OK, press F5. Okay. So the default view was set to Sweden, so you can change it. You can pretty much change it to UK. I'll show you how to do that, just a brief example. So now you can see the information based on latitude and longitude. So you can actually zoom in and you can select specific postcodes or specific locations. And then you can also add this icon here and then you can see the street map. Pretty useful, isn't it? Okay, so that's, you can, you can close this. So that's pretty straightforward. You can add n number of extension objects. Let's say that uh, I've already created an extension object for version 11, which is a video player. So you can drag and drop, and you will see a video. So if I click on play, so you can play the video, you can expand it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let me delete this. So I'll show you very quickly on how to edit it if you wanted to edit the JavaScript. So let's actually open the JavaScript file. Right click, click on edit. We'll show you the script. So this is the script. And let's look for the actual latitude and longitude. So this is the default map center so we can change it so i'll probably so change it to something uh, which is relevant to uk so that it by default shows the uk as location also change the zoom level probably change it to six so you can just save close it minimize this window now if you see if i refresh it by pressing f5 you will see the uk location there we go. So it shows that information. So if you're comfortable with JavaScript, you can go ahead and make some changes and customize it. So it's it's very powerful to use extension objects within ClickView. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.